Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my line of God's Daily Diary series. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to go ahead and read you a chapter from the Bible. Today I will be continuing with the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 19. Then Pilate therefore took Jesus and scourged him, and the soldiers plaited a crown of thorns and put it on his head, and they put on him a purple robe, and said, Hail, King of the Jews, and they smote him with their hands. Pilate therefore went forth again, and saith unto them, Behold, I bring him forth to you, that ye may know that I find no fault in him. Then came Jesus forth, wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe, and Pilate saith unto them, Behold the man. When the chief priests therefore and officers saw him, they cried out, saying, Crucify him, crucify him. Pilate saith unto them, Take ye him and crucify him, for I find no fault in him. The Jews answered him, We have a law, and by our law he ought to die, because he made himself the Son of God. When Pilate therefore heard that saying, he was the more afraid, and went again into the judgment hall, and saith unto Jesus, Whence art thou? But Jesus gave him no answer. Then saith Pilate unto him, Speakest thou not unto me? Knowest thou not that I have power to crucify thee, and have power to release thee? Jesus answered, Thou couldst have no power at all against me, except it were given thee from above. Therefore he that delivered me unto thee hath the greater sin. And from thenceforth Pilate sought to release him. But the Jews cried out, saying, if thou let this man go, thou art not Caesar's friend. Whosoever maketh himself a king speaketh against Caesar. When Pilate therefore heard that saying, he brought Jesus forth, and sat down in the judgment seat in a place that is called the pavement, but in the Hebrew, Gabbatha. And it was the preparation of the Passover, and about the sixth hour. And he saith unto the Jews, Behold your king. But they cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate saith unto them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then delivered he him therefore unto them to be crucified, and they took Jesus and led him away. And he bearing his cross went forth into a place called the place of a skull, which is called in the Hebrew Golgotha, where they crucified him and two others with him, on either side one, and Jesus in the midst. And Pilate wrote a title, and put it on the cross, and the writing was, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. This title then read many of the Jews, for the place where Jesus was crucified was nigh to the city, and it was written in Hebrew and Greek and Latin. Then said the chief priest of the Jews to Pilate, Write not, the King of the Jews, but that he said, I am King of the Jews. Pilate answered, What I have written, I have written. Then the soldiers, when they had crucified Jesus, took his garments, and made four parts to every soldier apart, and also his coat. Now the coat was without seam, woven from the top throughout. They said therefore among themselves, Let us not rend it, but cast lots for it. Whose it shall be, that the scripture might be fulfilled, which saith, They parted my raiment among them, and for my vesture they did cast lots. These things therefore the soldiers did. Now there stood by the cross of Jesus his mother, and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Cleophas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus therefore saw his mother, and the disciple standing by whom he loved, he saith unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Then saith he to the disciple, Behold thy mother. And from that hour the, that disciple took her unto his house, his own home. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, saith, I thirst. Now there was set a vessel full of vinegar, and they filled a sponge with vinegar, and put it upon hyssop, and put it to his mouth. When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. The Jews therefore, because it was the preparation, that the body should not remain upon the cross on the Sabbath day. For that Sabbath day was an high day, besought Pilate that their legs might be broken, then that they might be taken away. Then came the soldiers, and brake the legs off the first, 
and of the other which was crucified with him. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was dead already, they break not his legs. But one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side, and forthwith came there out blood and water. And he that saw it bore record, and his record is true, and he knoweth that he saith true, that he might believe. For these things were done, that the scripture should be fulfilled, a bone of him shall not be broken. And again another scripture saith, They shall look on him whom they pierced. And after this Joseph of Arimathea, being a disciple of Jesus, but secretly for fear of the Jews, besought Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus. And Pilate gave him leave. He came therefore and took the body of Jesus. And there came also Nicodemus, which at the first came to Jesus by night, and brought a mixture of myrrh and aloes and of about a hundred pound weight. Then took they the body of Jesus, and wound it in linen clothes with the spices, as the manner of the Jews is to bury. Now in the place where he was crucified there was a garden, and the garden a new sepulchre, wherein was man was never man yet laid. There laid they Jesus therefore because of the Jews' preparation day, for the sepulchre was night nigh at hand. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's never enjoyable for me in terms of the chapters of Jesus. It's much more enjoyable for me to listen to him, to Christ speak, and understand, and look to understand what he's saying, speaking. And um, so when it comes to the crucifixion, it's definitely not the most fun for me. And um, one of the verses that was interesting to me this time was how they break the legs of the other two men who were crucified, but they don't break Jesus' legs. And I just thought that was interesting because... It was just an example of another prophecy that was fulfilled and that I thought that was interesting. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's any more analysis I want to offer uh, about this chapter. And so with that, I'll go ahead and end my Bible reading there for today and transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's daily diary video. Since yesterday's daily diary video, I worked out my chest, I worked out my legs, and I created, uploaded, and was scheduled today's daily diary video for 9-28-24. And with no further achievement since yesterday's daily diary video, I'll talk a bit about how I've been doing recently, which is good. Um, so recently, I, I think I mentioned on one of my previous videos, I attended an introduction to jujitsu, like free training class here, and uh, on in Honolulu, Hawaii, at a place called Gracie Technics Jujitsu, and it's super cool. The instructors there are Rylan and Matt. They're the jujitsu instructors, and I actually also recently attended a free introduction class from Muay Thai. The leader Tyler there is also super cool. And I uh, placed a, like I, I uh, put a subscription that I wanted to do the, the jujitsu classes. And eventually I do see myself attending more of the Muay Thai classes as well. I mentioned that this was something that I was thinking about for some time. I had started shadow boxing in my room and just training, uh, like striking and stuff and like level changes in my room and like wrestling stances for some time now just because I wanted to improve my self defense. And I always talk about this idea. I always say that number one is to serve God perfectly. Because it's not like wrestling or jiu-jitsu or Muay Thai is an end-all be-all in the world, right? Like if you think about war, for example, war isn't fought with fists, it's fought with guns, tanks, bullets, bombs, whatever it is, right? So it's not that these are end-all be-alls. You know, first I serve God perfectly. All my glory is to God Father and God Son. They protect me and mine. And after that, it's just about doing my duty. So this is just symbolic and emblematic of taking the challenge head on and facing whatever it is. And mixed martial arts is an, an example of improving self-defense. So it's a great honor to have an opportunity to train there. And I'm so thankful because, like I said, it's just about self-defense. And you know, I think that's a, that's a good thing. 
so that I'll go ahead and end the Bible reading there for today. I want to go ahead and say thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, as it greatly helps the channel. I'd like to be with you all. Take care, and thanks again.